everybody. Now what we want to talk to you about is the means by which we are providing hot water into the home. Uh, so we are using what's called an air source heat pump hot water tank. So I know that's a lot of acronyms. Air source, we were talking about that with the furnace. Heat pump, it pumps the heat. HWT stands for a hot water tank. So Gord? Very interesting technology here that we can start to think about. We talked about heat pumps over on the furnace side, pumping heat, extracting heat from the surrounding air and using that to heat. In this case, in the furnace case, we're doing air to air, that's transferring heat from airstream to airstream. In this case, we're taking heat from the air and putting it into or turning it into hot water. So people would be familiar with a, a, a gas a water heater, that's tr traditional gas or oil water heater. There was a blue flame sitting under a tank of hot water. Again, a really hot blue flame. It was really quick in terms of its response time, but they were only about 65% efficient. For every dollar of gas you buy, you only got about 65 cents worth of heat. The rest went up the chimney, standby losses. Some would remember electric water heaters, and they're 100% efficient. For every dollar of electricity you buy, you get a, a dollar of heat. But in these cases, again, these are 250 to 300% efficient. For every dollar of electricity you buy, you get two $2.50 or $3 worth of hot water. It's the equivalent of, for example, in the net zero context, of roughly four solar panels. This eliminates the need for four solar panels. Heat pump, air source heat pump furnaces are the equivalent of about 10 solar panels. Here we're at four, uh, four gigajoules of energy, four solar panels. So the concept is this, I take air from the house, and you think it's summertime, it's hot in the house, take air from the house, I extract the heat from it, and put that into the hot water. They have incredibly quick recovery time. They also have electric backup if you need it. Totally programmable. I have one of these in my own cottage. I love it. Before I go up to the cottage, I turn the water heater on. As I'm going home from the cottage, turn the water heater off. So I have much better control over the temperature. Moreover, I can get digital control of the temperature from a scalding perspective. You had young families, young kids, maybe the grandchildren are coming. You can set the water heater so you know you're not going to have a scalding temperature. Gas tank were much more difficult to control because of that big flame. So we have all those great advantages. You're going to say, well, wait a minute, it's taking heat from the air. What's that doing in the wintertime? Well, in the wintertime it is. It's taking heat from the air and it's putting it into the hot water. It's making your house slightly cooler which is good in the summer, summertime from an air conditioning, but even in the winter, that air gets a little bit cooler and it's heated up back again by the heat pump over on this side. So the efficiency is still in that really nice uh, range of three to 400%. So this is a great technology. We would say this wouldn't have been available to the industry in Canada 15, 20 years ago, but now it makes sense in low load houses. Low load meaning super insulated, super tight houses where we don't have a lot of heating loads, but we still want to do a lot of showering, a lot of cooking and so on. This is the most efficient way, the most efficient way to heat hot water in houses. And Gordon, uh, what we heard uh, one time when you were here is the lowering of the temperature instead of setting it at 140, say setting it at 100. Um, can you speak to that about changing energy costs of the home for the consumer? Yes, exactly. In, in uh, the traditional gas tank, you had this, uh, everybody knows that warm water will rise. And in a tank, it would be you know, 140, 130, 120, 110. And, and down at the bottom might be 70 to 80 degrees. And that meant you had to keep, in order to keep enough hot water as you're running the shower, you have that idea that you have to keep turning the tap a little bit because you get this the degra uh, sorry, this uh, stratification of water. These tanks do a better job of that, that the heating coils are placed within the tank so you have a more consistent temperature. So you can actually lower the top of the temperature tank so you don't have that scalding situation and you're not paying for that extra energy that's that just being wasted. You just don't need it at that hot. So it, it does a better job of managing temperatures within the tank as well because of the control settings, because of the types of heating equipment. It's a heat pump as opposed to a gas flame. Excellent, Gordon. Thanks very much. Thanks, Stephen.